Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get Types into it. Types of ignition coils according to the purpose for different ignition systems. Coils are divided into two types, non-contact, contact. If your car does not have a trampler, it definitely has a contactless ignition system. Individual coils are only contactless. It is only when the trampler is equipped with breaker contacts that the ignition system is contact. According to the number of spark plugs to be serviced, they are common, one for several engine plugs, individual, one for each spark plug. According to the method of insulation of the windings, they are also different and can be oil-filled. Their body is made of metal, and for insulation of windings inside is poured transformer oil. Loss of tightness of the housing leads to the failure of such a device. As the transformer oil leaks out, the unprotected windings easily get in turn electrical breakdown. Filled with compound, dry. Diagnostic sequence steps to be taken during diagnostics, cleaning the surface from contamination. Checking the appearance. Device with cracks and signs of breakdown should be replaced. Checking winding resistance with a multimeter. Measurement of winding parameters to measure the resistance of the primary winding with a multimeter, switch it to the ohm meter mode. And set the lowest measuring limit, how to use a multimeter. After that it is necessary to close the probes of the device between each other and, if its design allows, to set the zero ohm meter. If the design of the device does not provide for this, memorize the readings and further subtract them from the results of measurements. To measure the resistance of the secondary winding on the device is switched on measuring limit up to 100k ohm, set zero or memorize. The reading when the probes are closed. For individual coils to measure the resistance of the primary winding, the probes should be connected to the contacts of the low voltage. Connector with numbers 1 and 3, extreme. For common coils, to the two low voltage terminals, B and K or plus and. To measure the secondary resistance of a single output common coil, the ohmmeter probes must be connected to the high voltage output and to the plus or B terminal. To make the same measurement on a common coil with two high voltage outputs, the ohmmeter probes should be connected to both high voltage outputs. To measure the secondary resistance of an individual coil, connect the ohmmeter probes to the high voltage output and to the middle contact of the connector. Winding resistance of some models What is the resistance of the windings of the following models? B114B, for ZIL431410, GAZ3102. Primary, 0, 38 ohm, secondary, 19, 9 k ohm, B116-01, for GAZ31029 primary, 0 0.65 ohm, secondary, 18.7 k ohm, 3705, 4. Tavria Primary, 0 0.38 Ohm, Secondary, 4.3 K Ohm, 3705, for Oka Primary, 0, 0.49 Ohm, Secondary, 6 K Ohm, 3705, Made in. Bulgaria for VAZ2108 Primary, 0, 0.43 Ohm, Secondary, 5.25 K Ohm, 2108-37050-10, Italian Production for VAZ2108 Primary, 0, 65. Ohm, secondary, 18, 7 K ohm, B115 V, for Moskvich primary, 2, 3 ohm, secondary, 6, 3 K ohm, the data given above are not averaged. They are obtained by the editorial staff of the publication, ZA Rulam, when measuring the resistance of windings of serviceable copies of some models. What faults are not diagnosed with an ohm meter? Only an open or short circuit in the winding can be diagnosed with an ohm meter. An interturn short circuit in a winding will not be noticeable during resistance measurement because of the small resistance of one turn and, as a consequence, the insignificant change in the total resistance when shorting between turns. An insulation breakdown between the turns of one winding and the other will only be detected when high voltage is applied to this place. 
it cannot be detected with a multimeter at all. Therefore, if the multimeter test fails to detect the defect, it is necessary to resort to another proven method of detecting a faulty unit. It is necessary to alternately replace all coils with a known faulty coil. Why impurities interfere with spark formation the ignition coil, like any other transformer that increases the voltage of an electrical impulse, reduces its current. Contamination of coil and plug insulators with oil and soot conducts electric current, so it can be represented as a resistance connected in parallel to the spark gap and shunting it. The current flowing through this shunt of dirt and moisture greatly reduces the power of the electrical pulse applied to the spark gap. Therefore, the impulse voltage at the plug electrodes also drops, and it is not sufficient for a sure breakdown of the inter-electrode gap. Consequently, the higher the spark formation voltage, the lower the pulse current, and the ignition system is more sensitive to various contaminants. How the spark is formed At first, current flows through the primary winding through the closed contacts of the breaker or through the open key of the commutator. This generates a magnetic field. Its lines of force pass through the core and are closed in the space around the coils. When the contacts are opened or the key is locked, the current flow through the primary winding stops. Together with this, the magnetic field disappears. Its lines of force cross the turns of the primary winding, as a result of which an electric impulse of about 300 V occurs in them. Due to induction, it induces another electrical impulse in the secondary winding. Its voltage can be calculated if the voltage of the first one is multiplied by the transformation factor. Multimeter Manual How to Check the Ignition Coil In conclusion, knowing how to check your car's ignition coil with a multimeter can be a valuable skill, especially if you're experiencing issues like jerking during acceleration. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can diagnose potential problems and ensure your vehicle runs smoothly. Regular maintenance and early detection of ignition coil issues can save you time and money in the long run. Thank you for watching, and safe driving!